Led by a youth movement called the Buchters Youth Rising Up or Bayru, they say the prospects of the local fishing industry has shrunk over the years, which has had an impact on the town's economy and the livelihoods of its inhabitants. We are mourning the fishing industry that is dying out on the community of Ludrix and we would like to see a better future for reviving the factories that has been closed down here in Ludrix. So we will be pleased if the companies that was established in Ludrix and had moved to Barfus Bay can come back. The, the government to see into it to give our companies the quotas, the co- companies to give better living conditions to the employees so that we can live together as one again in Goodrance, so that we can see a sign of the light at the end of the tunnel. The people in Goodrance, they are unhappy and we as the youth have decided that we are actually going to stand up for our town and we aren't going to be afraid to knock on any door. A lot of things will be happening in Goodrance now but the main thing is that we want to start at the point where people from outside uh, actually can hear us and, and, and recognize that the people of Lutheran do have a voice. There's a lot of things that are still coming, but whoever, for, for whoever the message is relevant, uh, people in Lutheran, uh, we are not scared. And it's, it's not to say that we, we are sending this, uh, uh, to say we, it's, we are intimidating someone, but it is, it, it, it is the truth. And it is about high time that Lutheran is acknowledged for the town that it is. I mean, Lutheran has, uh, has been supplying this, uh, this Namibia with resources for for how long and if you look at the rest of the Namibia, Lutherans, Lutherans doesn't compare, we don't, we don't have a proper uh, schooling, we do not have proper infrastructure, you can, you can uh, look at it from many perspectives. But the thing is that we start today and we're going to start it right, we're going to start it with time and whatever it takes, we will get there and for anyone who's listening to this, for the Buchters especially, we, uh, we as the Beirut organization, we do need your help, we do need uh, 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 support. The youth say that they have engaged with stakeholders in the industry and were not satisfied with the handling of the allocation of fishing quotas by the Ministry of Fisheries. According to them, the Ministry's decision to cut quotas for local factories signals the beginning of the end for the once prosperous industry. Each and every person, I believe, will be affected directly or indirectly because if you lay the workers off, at the end of the day, when you look at our shops, examples of um, OK and SPA, the factory workers are mostly the majority shoppers there. Once these people stop working, it means no income or little income, meaning the shops will be affected and they will lose uh, um, income as well and they'll have to end up uh, cringing their workers as well. Secondly, our banks will also be affected because no more depositing, meaning they'll lose also services and The Minister of Fisheries and Marine Resources, Albert Kawana, was quoted recently acknowledging that he does plan to reduce the amount of quotas for nearly 20 companies, including those involved in the fish rod scandal. This will also allow new rights holders to enter the fray, but will make it much difficult for the affected companies to secure sufficient quotas to sustain their workforce.